Um, so, so what we know is, is mo- you know, most of the people don't know what's happening until it happens. But we do know that the Street Profits and Bianca Belair knew because the Street Profits already had new gear and, Bian- and Bianca Belair had to cut that promo, um, you know, ahead of time for the show. So she knew ahead of time. Um, it was interesting, though, because in her promo, and it aired like this, she talked about how she was now the SmackDown Women's Champion, which kind of gave away that Rhea Ripley would be on Raw, which everyone kind of figured, because that's how they've been doing it every every time they switch one, they have to switch the other. But what was interesting is, is um, Bianca, you know, in her interview, talked about how she's now the SmackDown Women's Champion, and then the rest of the show, they kept talking about how Rhea Ripley is the SmackDown Women's Champion. So it's very clear that, um, like, again, people are being told different things that change all the time. This is this is um, where it's not like complete chaos, but there's a lot of chaos right now. Well, there is. But I mean, in storyline, I mean, if Bianca goes to SmackDown in storyline, we know that she is going to be the SmackDown Women's Champion. And even though the SmackDown Women's Champion is on the other show, we know historically that they're going to do this stupid belt swap. And so she may be the champion now, but they're going to switch these belts, and which is, I mean, listen, we had a, a WWE champion and a Universal champion, and even though there were color-coded belts, it's like it didn't matter what show they were on. I don't understand why we can't rename these women's titles so every year we don't have to do a belt swap, which is such a, it's so hokey to have a belt swap. You've got a SmackDown women's champion who goes to the other brand, and then the other person gets drafted, and they have to switch belts because their belts wrestling. don't match the brand. It's just like, just called yeah. the world and the universal women's title or something. And I don't yeah. know. It's it's wrestling. It's hokey, you know. I mean, but it's, my, but it's, it doesn't have it's to in, be. Like, it's inherently hokey. You, yeah, with with Vince could, McMahon, it has to be. God. There's no other way with Vince McMahon. It does. No, does wrestling have to be? No. Does it? W- will wrestling under Vince McMahon have to be? Yes, the WWE is written for Vince McMahon. It's going to be hokey, just how it is. The main event. I was so disgusted. Why does a guy like that that's been a champ for so long have to have three guys come in and help him? Disgusting, isn't it? Yes, it is so disgusting. There was a lot of great matches. There was the first day. The second day was back to this same old crap. Her favorite was Gunther versus Drew versus Sheamus. Oh, I hate Gunther. You hate Gunther. Really? Do you, why do you hate about him? Just doesn't look right to me. <laughs> doesn't look right to you. Okay. All right. His favorite was the first 34 minutes of Cody Roman. His least favorite was the final three seconds of Cody Roman. Granny, do you agree with any of these uh, opinions here? What was that? I think she fell asleep. Yeah. Bailey was on Wheel of Fortune. Mm-hmm. And by E. By okay. E? It said by Big E. I Big guess. E. Okay. Big E. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For your birthday this year, I'm not going to get you something decent. You're going to get nothing. Granny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Comic book villain. I keep saying this. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.